Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Wildlands. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. My day is going pretty good. This time we are not in the big old group. We are by ourselves today. And I am eating some elderberries because my character was very, very hungry. Let's go ahead and pick some more. <coughs> not sure what's wrong with my throat right now for some reason. I just drank some water, in, but... Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully things are going good for you guys. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done some Wildland stuff. So it's, uh, it's good to be back in here. We are by ourselves, like I said. Uh, I had been building a little bit. Ooh, a little bit of latency there. Uh, I had been building a little bit uh, in the cave, just kind of digging it out and whatnot. And uh, just kind of, you know, messing with all the stuff in there. Uh, but I thought today we would head out into the wild, and I do remember seeing a cave at some point. So I thought it might be kind of fun to go in down into a cave and kind of mess around with that a little bit. Now, I would love to get into some building in this game. Uh, that's actually something I haven't really touched on a whole lot. Uh, and I just thought that it would be a lot of fun and like traveling off to different islands and stuff, I think, is... Is going to be a lot of fun. Is this a cave right here? Cool. This is a cave. Awesome. Okay. Uh, that's Cave Grass. Let me go ahead and, and pull out my torch. Oh, of course my torch is uh, not lit. So let's go ahead and put it down on the ground and then we can light it. Okay. And I'll pick that back up. And there we go. Now we have a light to carry with us. Oh, gosh. Uh, that was scary for a whole second. Ooh, what is that? It's like a whole little setup with like, it's a lantern. Ooh, yeah, I want that lantern. Uh, it's a stick. Uh, pick up the lantern. Yeah. Check that out. Okay, so red shells. Are these red shells? No, those are sumac flowers. All right. Let's 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 keep going down in here. A uh, nice little crystal. Man, blue quartz quits crystal blue quartz crystal uh okay let's grab that where's the blue quartz the blue quartz let's equip it and this puts off a good bit of light too but i think the lantern might do a little bit better man that's a big cave isn't it that really is all right so let's come back up this way yeah for some reason today the uh the game does not feel like it is running quite as smoothly as it was the last time I was playing, maybe there's people loading into the server and whatnot. I'm not sure. But uh, I, I I really, like, I don't know what is expected to be found down in these caves. I don't know if there's something, like, super crazy that uh, you come across or anything like that. Like, I have no idea. But that that is actually a really cool screenshot right there, isn't it? So if I do that and turn around, should I? I'll take a screenshot just like that. Wait for that to go away, and voila. All right, good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, it's just a mushroom in there. I wonder if those mushrooms give off light when you pick them up. Uh, keep going. Man, this is a long cave. Is, is there, like, certain resources to find down here? Uh, Nothing there. Okay. Let's... Oh. Okay, that's uh, kind of a long way down. I'm afraid to, like, try and get down there. Because I feel like I don't think I'd be able to get down there very easily. And there's not... I don't have, like, a ladder system or anything that would work out. Uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious. So let's, let's do this. Let's place down our lantern right there. And then let's see what this little bit back here is. So we got stone chunks. Is this just dirt? Oh, just dirt and stone. Here, I'll, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what this brown is, thinking it's some sort of special resource or something, and it is just dirt. All right, we get a little bit deeper down in here, and it really just kind of keeps going. It really does. Uh, I haven't seen anything, like, super scary in here or anything, but look at all of the... Little cave entrances and stuff? That is super awesome. Um, 
Oh, what is that? That is a big cave mushroom. Holy cow. Uh, can't eat that or anything. I guess that's just something like you can maybe just place in the world. That is, that's a big mushroom. I'll say that. Uh, keep looking around here just for any other entrances or anything. Because I don't see anything yet that really just calls out as far as exits go. I, I did mark my exit with that singular crystal right over that way. So at least it's something to keep us on track. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything down here um, except for some giant mushrooms. I think it all just kind of culminates at this one particular spot. Now I got to try my best to get out of here. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I might have to start digging. All right, I came out of the cave and a wolf just bit me. I don't know where the wolf went. So I threw down my, my, my lantern and pulled out my sword because I was ready to defend myself. But I don't see where the guy went. So we're just going to run back down here to the water and, uh, and hope that I don't get bitten again and hope that I can find my way back to home. All right, so it looks like we made our way back home. I'm going to head into the cave where I have already placed my crystal, uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and place uh, my lantern on the ground as well. Um, actually, you know what? Can I place the lantern up on the ceiling? Nope, it falls. Okay, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna place it on the ceiling and see if I could like maybe hook it, you know, up there or something like that. But that does not appear to be the case. Uh, so let's see. I could eat some uh, elderberries again. I need to get into some real food. Uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna have uh, any a good time with what I've been messing with. So. Let's go ahead, uh, and we may, we need to make a few other things. You guys actually told me in the comment section that this key items tab is stuff that I need to be making uh, to kind of continue along with my progress. Uh, one thing I know that I haven't made yet is a kiln. I have not made a kiln at all. So I want to see if I can't uh, go ahead and make a kiln here and have it recessed within the wall there a little bit, interact with no fuel. Uh, interact. Yeah, there we go. Furnace lining and charcoal. Uh, we can make a ton of charcoal because I have a ton of firewood. What else can I get made out of here? Uh, I can make a smelting furnace. So let's go ahead uh, and see about making a smelting furnace and just kind of get it just right in there just like that. Yeah, another, another little building for us to have back here, which uh, will definitely help us in our adventures. Now, I've already made a stove. Uh, I don't have my own tanning rack or uh, weaving loom. Could make both of those along with a spinning wheel. Uh, that, if I made a spinning wheel, it could go right over here. Just kind of place it. And then what else do I, am I going to miss? I'm going to need poles. So let's go ahead and make, um, gosh, I don't know how many. Oh, my knife just broke. So I guess that tells me how many I'm going to make. Uh, let's go ahead and make a tanning rack. We'll put that in the middle of the two dilios there. And what else can we get into? Now, um, I think I wanted to make, what did I want to make? Uh, an anvil? Do I need an anvil? Yeah, I probably need an anvil for a blacksmith uh, forge. So we're going to need some more clay and a bellows. Now, am I to a bellows yet? I don't think I am. I don't know what I haven't had yet so I could make a bellows, but I don't think I have a bellows yet. So I'm going to need to go get some wood. So let's go chop down a tree. All right. Now that we got some logs, we can come back in here. Uh, actually, can I not feed logs to this thing? Does it need to be sticks? Yeah, I can feed it with sticks. There we go. We can feed that one, and we can feed this one, and we can feed this one right over here. Then I could take my flint and steel, light it, light it, and light it. So now we can interact. If I had any metal, um, I could go ahead, or I had any iron ore, I could go ahead and, and cook it. Uh, over here with this one, we've got a bunch of brick stuff. 
We could even do some raw glass, some charcoal, some clay, uh, different things like that. But I'm actually, I'm pretty good at the moment in the blazing kiln. Uh, actually, let me try with the stove. Uh, some roasted fish meat. Roasted fish meat sounds great. Let's go ahead and make some of that. Uh, and let's try and make uh, a roasted mushroom. And we should be good with that as well. So we're, we're looking great inside of our little area here. Uh, some other things that I'd like to do, I, I should go ahead and make a repair kit if I can. Just like so. And then now I can pull up that knife. Uh, do you see the knife? There's my knife. Uh, let's go ahead and repair. Repair that. And now I can go back to making some more poles. I'm going to make three more and I'm going to make a weaving loom that we can throw right over there and kind of mess with all of that. So nothing to craft on that. On this one, there's nothing to craft. And on this one, there's nothing to craft. So I probably just don't have the materials necessary for that. Uh, so I'll probably need to go down and get some flak. I think flak would be pretty good uh, so I can make uh, some other things. And uh, short of that, um, could make a wooden beam. I don't know what I'd use it for yet, but I could. I could make a paper press. Um, yeah, let's let's go down and get some flak. All right, so now that I have some flak, yes, I can make some of this yarn. And maybe this will unlock the bellows for me. Maybe I'm there already or maybe not. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, that's kind of the bad thing with working with a group is that you don't always craft everything. Uh, so you might miss out on a few different things. So there's a locksmith table, uh, cog wheel, charcoal. Apparently I need to make some charcoal. Let me, let me just go ahead and get some charcoal made. You know, maybe that's a part of the essentials that we need to get going. Uh, I don't have any metal to mess with in there. Uh, and then as far as everything in here, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to take the mushrooms as soon as they're done. Take all. And then uh, about 15 seconds left in this one. Come on, come on, come on. All right. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Most of that is done. It's all done. Uh, so now we can go ahead and take a look. Uh, bellows. Still no bellows. Hmm. I don't know why I can't craft a bellows, but let's uh, come over here to the weaving loom. Yeah, nothing on that. The tanner rack, nothing on that. Huh, I'm really not sure what I might have run into that is preventing me from making the bellows. But we can uh, go get some clay, which I think I talked about doing. Um... And yeah, I'm not entirely sure from there. I've made all the stone stuff. I, I'm assuming I've made a campfire, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go ahead and make a campfire. Uh, pretty sure I made a needle, but maybe I need to make another needle. A sewing kit. Let me go ahead and make a sewing kit. Uh, and now, let's see, bellows. Uh, at least I got the sewing kit now. Let me close out of my inventory. Maybe it's something that once you're in your inventory, uh, you can't, like it won't update. But that doesn't seem to be the case either. Huh. Um, flint lighter, glass blowing pipe, all that stuff. Um, I'm not sure. Let's come back over here. Bellos. Yeah. Hmm. I am not entirely sure i finally unlocked the bellows so apparently what i had done is i hadn't actually created cloth uh so i have actually just added a door to my little cave area here so let's go back into first person um somebody went and got agave plants so that's really cool we can actually make a ton of stuff uh just through the agave plants that is going to work out really well for us so I should be able to make the bellows here very soon. Uh, I haven't. I just went and placed a bunch more of the um, wicker baskets around just to kind of clear out my inventory a little bit uh, and kind of make sure that I had a bunch of different stuff uh, like a torch. Let's grab some horse hide and put that up. Let's put the mortar and pestle up, the knife, the iron saw. Let's put my arrows up, my bow 
Uh, just different stuff that, you know, if I don't think I'm going to need it immediately, I am going to want to put it away. Um, that one is full of different things. This one, let's go ahead and get some grass rope. Uh, we got some more agave leaves. Uh, a pole, we can put that up. Let's put the shovel up. The pristine lighter, sewing kit. You know what? I'll probably need the sewing kit. Uh, but the bow drill we can leave out. Let's put up the metal ingots. And uh, yeah, all kinds of goodies here, which I am very, very excited about. Let me just go ahead and kind of move everything up in the hot bar, just like so. And then are you done? You are done. Let's go ahead and craft some more just because we have it. And I need to make a little bit more in cloth. Uh, we have the ability to make three. Are these just rugs? Yeah, these are carpets. All right, cat carpet, chicken carpet, cow carpet, door carpet. Um, I like door carpets, I guess. Uh, Greek rug, pig carpet, and a sword carpet. Oh, so that's pretty cool. You can, like, adorn your home with all of this uh, just kind of weird stuff, which uh, should make it pretty interesting. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to really get rid of. I really wish that the light situation was just a little bit better uh, in this game because I feel like I have a lantern down. I feel like that should light up the area uh, quite a bit more, uh, especially with the blue quartz kind of in the same vicinity. But I don't know. I really just feel like it's always dim in my little cave here. And I'm afraid that if I make a house, it's going to be very similar, right? But I guess daylight is much better than uh, than cave light. So let's go ahead. Uh, what am I going to need for that bellows now that I can make it? I have everything. All right. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bellows. Uh, we got a, all kinds of hats that we just unlocked. That is awesome. Uh, probably from the cloth that I picked up. Uh, but now we're going to need a forge, and I still need that clay. All right, I think I've got all the materials necessary to make a blacksmith. There it is. There it is. All right, so where do I want to put this? I want to be able to expand my area here. So I think, uh, let me see. Uh, let's pull out the hammer. And can I go ahead and just pick this up, this basket? Can I destroy the basket? Is there anything in the basket? No, there's nothing in the basket. Okay. Beat the basket. Hit it. Punch it. Ah, yes. All right. We have destroyed the basket. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that forge again. Just like so. Let's see. Z. Uh, yeah, just kind of place it down there just a little bit. And there it is. There's our forge. Very nice. Uh, it has no fuel, so let's go ahead and stick some fuel in it. We can feed it. And then I am i know I put my flint and steel back up somewhere, so I'm not going to bother going and getting it again because uh, I don't have any iron. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I do have some iron that I need uh, to go ahead and make up. So let's go ahead and put that in the bar right there. Light it. And then we can interact with it. Uh, oh, wait, no. This is where I need to do that. And then we can go ahead and do this. This can be interacted with, and now we can make some iron ore. So what uh, what kind of things do I have available to me? Uh, I can make myself some iron pants. That is going to work out well. And then there's a whole litter of other things uh, that we can kind of mess with. I know that I had some iron around here. Uh, I just can't remember. Oh, I only have two ingots. So once that's done, we should be fine. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed. I know I have. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, next time I'll have some iron pants. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.